Floss Tube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. My channel name is Stitchin' in Kansas. S-T-I-T-C-H-E-N dot I-N dot K-S. Um, I'm going to get started with the Know Your Needle Worker tag. I feel like that's the best way maybe for you to get to know me and that's my favorite part of Floss Tube is getting to know all of you and becoming friends and so that's where we'll start. I've got my coffee, my notes, and I'm ready. So the first question, where do you live? I live in the Kansas City area. I'm on the Kansas side in a suburb in western Kansas City, Kansas. So a little town, a little west of there. What do you do for a living? I'm a stay-at-home mom, so not, not really too much to say about that. For me, I feel like it's the best job in the world. Um, just, so not really too much to say about that. Uh, do you have children? Obviously I do, I have three. I have a high schooler, a middle school, and an elementary school student, two girls and a boy. Um, I'm sure I'll talk about them more because they are just absolutely the loves of my life. They are wonderful. Do you have pets? I do. I have three dogs. Um, I love cats, but we can't have one because my youngest is allergic. So we're dog people. Uh, we have two mini schnauzers, mini schnauzers, <laughs> and we have a little Yorkie Chihuahua mix named Peanut, and they're all over there sleeping. Um, I am in my living room filming my stitchy spot, which is, I'm going to move you. Don't be sick. That's in my stitching chair, my alt light. Um, my, I'm so proud of that chair. My husband just bought me that chair for our 15th wedding anniversary, which was on Valentine's Day. So, um, what are your other hobbies? Um, I kind of dabble in crafts like most of us. I'm a very basic sewer, so I like to try and make project bags and um, things like that just for my own personal use. I would never try and sell one because they're, <laughs> they're embarrassing. Um, and I read a little bit here and there. I'm not a big reader. It kind of just depends on the book. Um, so, and that's basically it. I take care of my children. I drive them around because I feel like I'm a taxi. Um, and that's it. Hanging out with my husband and my kids. I love it. What is your favorite movie? It depends on the day, really. Um, I think probably my three all-time favorite go-to I could watch any time. Um, the Godfather, oh, literally, that's probably like my all-time favorite movie. I love that movie. Love the second one. The third one, meh, not so great, but I'll watch it. Um, Sense and Sensibility with Emma Thompson, oh, another one. I just, I could put that on any time. And the Pride and Prejudice version, the BBC version of Pride and Prejudice, um, love it, love it but I have to have a few hours to sit and watch that one because it's long. Um, so favorite, those are my favorite movies. Favorite TV show, oh, I love true crime, like the Dateline and the um, 2020, things like that. The news stories type thing, I love those. Um, I love General Hospital, oh, it's my guilty pleasure. Um, that's really it, I don't watch, you know, some Netflix shows here and there with the hubby and um, don't really watch too much. I watch a lot of floss too. Um, my favorite book, I don't have one. Um, I have a favorite author. I love James Patterson. I love mysteries. So really any good mystery story. I love the Harry Potter books. Of course, who doesn't love Harry Potter? Um, that's it. I'll, I'll really read. If it's interesting, I'll read it. So, um, favorite music. I don't have one. I listen to a lot of it again it depends on my mood um, I listen to a lot of Christian music because I want good music for my kids to listen to um, with a good message I sometimes listen to country not too much I like classic rock is great um, yeah I don't like heavy metal or opera things like that no not for me one word to describe me I had to think about this before I did the video because I think this is like the hardest question. Um, but the one word I came up with was passionate, which can be good or bad because sometimes I'm like, what I mean by passionate is 
if I'm into something, like I am all in, even if it's only for like one or two weeks. <laughs> for those one or two weeks, I'm gonna be all in. Um, but if I like, if I'm angry, I'm angry. If I am happy, I'm happy. Um, you know, if I'm into something, I'm into it. It doesn't always last, <laughs> but um, so I think passionate is, and I'm passionately devoted to my family, like I think most people are. So that kind of my children's schedule runs my entire life right now <laughs> because they're just at that age. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I've been stitching for on and off for about 30 years. Um, you know, I learned when I was about eight or nine and then didn't stitch for a while, got back into it in my early twenties, kind of put it away, got it back out a few years ago and I've just been going like crazy. Um, so I want to start with some finishes that I've had recently. Here they are. Uh, this one I finished in, look at that cute little guy. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Um, I finished him in December, I think, around December. Um, here's a little better picture of him with my face in the background. Um, this is Mill Hills Holiday Pins Pine Tree Ho Ho. Not pine tree ho, people. Uh, pine tree ho ho. It. I thought it was one of their ornaments, but it's actually a lapel pin or a kind of a brooch thing. Um, so I'm gonna finish it into an ornament, ornament when I actually finish it. That was the bag, people. And I'm not gonna edit that out because I don't think I know how to edit. So sorry. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to finish that into an ornament because I don't wear lapel pins, so I'll figure it out. This is January. This is the Lizzie Kate yearbook series. This is January. I hope you can see that. Okay. Um, I love this and I didn't fully finish it and hang it up. I had November hanging up until like all of February. I love the colors in this and I just used the called for, and this is a, this is a lamb's wool linen. Maybe a, maybe a 36 count. I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I'm not good at knowing like my linens and stuff. I know it's a lamb's wool. I love lamb's wool linen. Um, so anyways, that is the yearbook, um, Lizzie Kate yearbook series. Um, yikes. This is February's, which I did fully finish and hang up. So don't laugh at my crazy finishing skills, but they're amateur at best. <laughs> but this is February's. Um, it, it's cute. I really like it. I think I changed this. I think it was called for something else, but I changed that. So, and I just mounted it. This is cardboard with, um, this is a canvas, mounted on a canvas. This is cardboard with just some scrapbook paper on it. And I, this hangs in my kitchen. Um, this was just something I got at one of the local craft stores and I painted it white and kind of sandpapered it to make it look distressed. And then I just, whoops, you saw the back of that. Yikes. Uh, I just hang it on there and ah, it hangs in my kitchen. So I like that. It's cute. Um, those are my recent finishes. This is my favorite finish. I did this last year and... Ta-da! Maybe I can get a good screen grab. Or maybe not. <laughs> um, this is my favorite finish. I stitched this. It's from a Just Cross Stitch magazine from 2014. And um, Carolyn, or Caroline, I'm sorry, at Off The Grid Needle Arts, I saw her stitching this in a video a long time ago. And I, I said, I have to have that. I love owls. Oh my gosh, mm, they're cute. Um, and I saw her stitching it. I had to have it. So I tracked down the magazine and this is my favorite. Number one, it's just stinking cute. And number two, um, I completely converted this, all the colors and everything, which I sub out a color here and there, but I'm, I'm more like stick to the pattern to it. Like they say. Um, but I, I was sitting at my LNS on the floor for almost an hour, like <laughs> putting colors together. And um, so I converted all these colors myself and I absolutely love 
love love love look at that guy oh he is so cute and I use silk for his body oh, yes love the silk I don't use it a lot because budget and it's expensive but oh it was worth it so this is my favorite finish it hangs in my living room I put this on Instagram I am stitching in Kansas on Instagram but it's so it's S-T-I-T-C-H-I-N underscore I-N underscore K-S. And I will try and link that down below too. Um, boy, you're not kidding when you talk about floss tube itchy nose. That's, that's a real thing, people. Wow. Um, so um, on Instagram, the Addicted Sisters who have a floss tube, Laura and Nancy, they are wonderful. They're local stitchers for me and I'm... Sorry, I'm going to hold this up for 30 minutes. Um, they have a hashtag on Instagram. It's hashtag AS favorite finish for Addicted Sisters favorite finish. And so I put that on there. Absolutely my favorite. I just love it. Okay. Um, on to whips. And these are in no particular order, just the order that they are stacked. Sorry, let me take the pattern off this one. My first one is my heaven and earth designs it is um it's woodland santa the designer is donna gelsinger i think i have yes this is it beautiful oh it's gorgeous it is 450 wide by 562 high this is gonna be a monster I have never done a piece this big and this is I'm on page two so um, like page one is all over here this is page two um, Bindi Stitchy Michelle who I everybody knows and loves um, she is working on her Hade uh, Josephine is her name and but it's Contessa and Squid I think is what it's called and she's working on that and so I commented on her post um, she said she's going to stitch on it every single day this year. And I was like, oh my gosh, that would be such a good way to get my hay done. So I'm going to try and stitch on it. But I've been really good. You know, I got it out and started page two. And then I kind of slowed down for a couple of days. But um, yeah, I plan on working on this every day. Oh, sorry. Showed the pattern. Can't stitch a hay from one page. It's like almost 40 pages long. Um, so anyways, um she talks about the group full coverage fanatics on facebook so i went and i joined that group because what a great way like their challenges are a great way to get that done so i'm gonna do the next they have quarter challenges and so i'll start the next one because i just joined the group and then um they do like a monthly challenge they do like a 1200 stitches per month month or 2400 stitches per month so i'm gonna do one of those i don't know which one but i'm definitely gonna gonna do that um my next whip is mill hill series sorry about the glare um it's the out on the limb series and this is blue bird there's three others yellow bird orange bird and aqua bird i have orange bird but i haven't started it um and this was my february 19th start for laura and nancy's the addicted sisters also have a facebook group called whatcha stitchin um and so she challenged everybody to start a new start on the 19th of every month this year. So this was my new, this was my new start um, for that. So I worked on that a little bit. I actually I think just worked on it on the 19th and then put it down. Um, then they also, one of their other challenges for the Whatcha Stitchin Facebook group was to put for every day in February, put at least 28 stitches in a project that you love. And so I picked my, this is Stony Creek and it is called Best Time. Um, I love snowmen. They're so, they're just so cute and sweet. Um, although on mine, I am not stitching this bottom wording. It's the best time of the year. It's really not the best time of the year anymore because Kansas City has been hit. Like every every part of the country this year has been hit with horrible winter weather. 
And if I never see another snowflake in my life, I'd be totally fine because I'm sick of snow and cold, cold, oh my gosh. But here's my progress on this little guy. I hope you can see that okay. I don't, maybe, maybe I'll get a better setup, I don't know. Um, gosh, these guys are cute. I love Stony Creek, but oh, the back stitching, wow. So much back stitch. But um, so for the 28 day challenge, I think I was like somewhere here. So I, I did all this and this border and went up and did the whole tree and did all this back stitching. I back stitch as I go because if I saved back stitch for the ends, I would never finish anything. So there is a whip. Um, my next one is the March, the, my two finishes, January and February. This is the March. See, it's yearbook. This is March and then April is in here also. So April and right now I am working on March. I am changing the color of the kite and the house. Uh, just kind of pick two colors randomly because, um, I didn't like those colors. I, I like the, um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm so sorry. I like the colors or I like the, the patterns. They're cute. And I wanted a seasonal series. So I saw this and bought it. And it was when they said like Lizzie Kate was retiring. And I was like, Oh, I got to buy all the Lizzie Kate. I didn't. There's tons of Lizzie Kate. Um, so this is, this is March. Um, I, this one is so cute. I think the cutest, and I think it's because of the lion and the sheep. Aww, they are so stinking cute. And then, um, all I need to do on this is the house. Um, I changed the color of the kite. You can see it's like a, I don't know what color it is, but I changed it. So I work on that. Hopefully we'll have it done and fully finished. Oh no, I <laughs> said before March. That's tomorrow. I guess I know what I'm working on tonight. Um, my next project is um, the Prayer of St. Francis from Lizzie Kate. Uh, maybe next time I'll take these out of the package so there's not a massive glare. I mean, you can't really see that, but it's um, the Prayer of St. Francis. And I'm stitching this for my mom. It is um, going to be for Mother's Day. This is her favorite, one of her favorite prayers, I think. And so... Um, this is my progress, which is pretty good because I just started this. Um, is that backwards? I don't know how y'all are seeing that. Well, um, I just started this last night, so pretty good progress. It's, it's going pretty quickly. So I just worked on it for a couple of hours, and this is on, um, let's see, do I have it? This is on a natural linen. I think I just got from... Hobby Lobby. So those are my whips. That's what I'm working on right now. Uh, the projects that I have worked on the past couple of weeks. And now we'll move on to plans. Um, I was looking at my notes. <laughs> I gotta follow something because I'm a little nervous. Hopefully we're doing okay. Coffee, gotta have that, right? About eight cups a day. Just kidding, I don't really drink eight cups a day. Um, so my plans, um, I plan, these are loose plans. Um, I would like to finish this pattern. This is Bluebell by Nora Corbett. She is beautiful. And I'm stitching this for my youngest daughter, Claire. She picked it out and um, so I'm stitching it for her. And I'm just about, I, I'm doing pretty good. I'm almost done with her. Oh, she is pretty. Um, I love the metallic threads. They are a pain to work with, but oh, and the opal fabric just is just beautiful with this. Um, so I just have to finish her wings. Um, let's see. Did I say down there? No, she's done. I have to finish up here for the wings. I ran out of the crinic, so I had to go get more. Um, and I just have to finish the back stitching and the beading and she'll be done and ready to FFO, which I will have to do soon because my daughter asked me, mom, how you doing? I'm a fairy. I'm getting there, sister. 
I'm getting there. That's one plan. Um, my next plan is to finish a Harry Potter piece. And this is, I bought this off of Etsy. And so it's a PDF and I don't have, um, I don't, yikes. I'm trying to pull up a picture on my Kindle. I don't have a picture of the pattern, but this is what it will look like. This is the picture of the picture. <laughs> um, and the magical stitches, and literature group that everybody is a part of I was a part of um, and but I like it was crazy how much work that is I guess I'm a lazy stitcher and if there's like a ton of counting and projects I just tend not to do it so when I first joined it was before January it was like right when they announced it and I was already a part of the group because it was the Jane Austen sell which I never even started my Jane Austen piece <laughs> But anyways, I thought it was going to be like that, where you stitch like a Harry Potter related pattern, but it's way more. It's tons of fun. I am so, I'm loving seeing what everybody's doing. It's a ton of fun. But I went out and bought like three Harry Potter patterns because I thought, oh, we're going to be stitching everything Harry Potter. No. <laughs> but, um, and, but I started it anyways and, and worked on it. And here he is. He is, oh my gosh, he's cute. I made his scar red just so it stood out a little more. And I think I changed the color of his shirt, but it's a lot of black and a lot of brown. Um, and then I got to do the Harry Potter at the bottom. So, and that is my Harry Potter needle minder that I made. Oh, he is so cute. Sorry about the glare, but he is super cute. So I want to finish him. That's a plan. Um, and then I need to start, um, this for my older daughter she is 14 going on 25 and she picked this this is mermaid undyne i think is what it's called u-n-d-i-n-e um and she picked this out and so i'm going to stitch it for her and i'm going to stitch it on this fabric which is uh 32 count sea spray linen i think i bought it from one two three stitch and there's the needle minder for her <laughs> so cute um I haven't even started it yet I have all the DMC so I can start it um but I need to get the silks this needs like six or seven. Oh, I lied one two three four five five silks um which I have not gotten yet I need to um so starting that is a plan um and starting this Oh my gosh, look at this. This is called All of Flutter um, from Heather Nugent, and it is in the latest episode, or episode, the latest edition of The World of Cross Stitching. I have a subscription. Um, look at, the, I just love the colors. Oh, it's just beautiful. Um, so my plan is to start that sometime this year, and which kind of goes into haul because Sorry, I gotta move. I'm sitting on the floor in my stitching spot because um, I don't have a tripod and this was the best setup I could find. <laughs> so it kind of brings me into haul. Um, I bought some fabric. I buy most of my fabric either from 123 Stitch or my local LNS, which is CC and Company in Blue Springs, Missouri. Um, but I wanted to try dyeing my own fabric. And so. I dyed, I just bought a piece of, um, this is 28 count even weave from DMC Charles Craft. And I just bought this, it was at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And um, I bought a couple of just cheaper fabrics so I could try dyeing. And I really like, it's showing up a little bit lighter. It's more of a darker turquoise, but pretty, pretty true to color. Um, and I dyed this for that bird pattern I just showed you. So, um, and I bought the threads for that. So I think, I don't know, tell me what you guys think. I, um, I think it'll look good. Um, there might be a green that might be, you know, a little washed out. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I do more of a sky blue for that or leave the turquoise? I kind of like the turquoise. Um, I watched Farm Girl Michelle's tutorial on dyeing, which 
was awesome. Thank you for that tutorial because it was wonderful. And I also dyed, this is from, this is Joanne. They like, they came out with an, pretty recently I think, their own linen for cross stitch. And it's kind of, the weave is kind of loose. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't used it, but I did dye it. Look at that purple. Whew. Purple is my favorite color. And I love, love, love how this turned out. And I am going to stitch. I bought on Etsy. A, it's just the pattern. I don't have a picture of it, but it's the Dumbledore quote. Happiness can be found in the darkest of places. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Um, my favorite. Um, quote from Harry Potter and I'm gonna do this yellow with that I'm sorry it's so bright maybe I just think that's gonna look great I'm gonna just stitch it all in one color um, and this is sunshine girl from you see that okay I don't maybe this is sunshine girl it's crescent colors um, hopefully you can see that okay so I'm going to do that Harry Potter piece on that. And then I used Priscilla and Chelsea's um, tea and coffee dyeing tutorial to dye some of this. And I think it turned out pretty good um, for my first time. There is, it's kind of hard to see because the glare, but there's some modeling in there. I don't like really heavy modeling on fabric. Um, a little bit and very subtle I like, but um, really heavy modeling I don't like. But um, I use their tea dyeing tutorial. So again, thank you. And I will try and link that below with, um, and also Michelle, Farm Girl Michelle's tutorial. Um, if I can, I'll link them below if I can figure out how to do it. So um, I bought that fabric to try. I don't know what I'm gonna stitch on the tea dyed fabric yet, but I just wanted to try it out. Um, I bought some needles, because you can't have too many of those. Um, I bought, these pins love the royals love the chiefs um and one's missing because my daughter took it of course um i bought this off stash unload this is lizzie kate bless our family super cute i can't get anything to focus maybe okay bless our family i like that one um Plum Street Samplers Heritage Sampler. Oh, this is beautiful. And I had never seen this before. I'm gonna take it out of the package because it's so beautiful. Um, Michelle Bindi Sitchi was doing her whip parade and I saw this on her whip parade and I paused the video and I went and bought it because, wow. Oh, please focus. It's beautiful. It's Plum Street Samplers. All her patterns are just beautiful. Gosh, I just love it. And I bought, um, I had bought the called for fabric before I even bought the pattern. So yay, that was like a happy accident. It is Lakeside Linens Vintage Exemplar, 36 count. Um, and I had bought that around Christmas time. Uh, that was my Christmas present, one of them. Um, and then I bought a couple days ago, I went to my LNS and I bought, whoa, all of the fabric or all of the called for colors for heritage sampler so i'm gonna start that soon hopefully um then i bought i got this from cindy sorley has a facebook page uh stitchery express i think sorry i can't remember the the name of it but um country cottage needleworks the nativity this is just such a cute little um oh there we go maybe maybe not sorry um such a cute little take of the nativity scene i love the way she does that and then i also bought maybe i don't have to take that out this is america land that i love it's called land that i love by country cottage um i love their patterns i love country cottage and little house i think their patterns are just so sweet. Um, 
So, and I think that's it. I think, um, I have a couple more patterns that I've ordered off Stash Unload. I normally won't have a lot of haul because I, I just don't buy a lot except like the past month I've been on a buying frenzy and buying everything like it's going out of print. Um, the, I've seen a few of the market releases, um, haven't ordered any, but I did order a copy of And They Send. Um, I found it at um, an LNS in Canada not my LNS, but <laughs> a, a needle workshop in Canada called Traditional Stitches. Um, and I saw it there and they had it and they were selling it with the fabric. So of course it was ridiculously expensive, but um, my husband was very sweet and said, grab it. So I did. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't hesitate. What? Okay, I got it. <laughs> so, um, so that's on my haul. Um, thank you so much for watching my video for coming um shout outs i guess anybody i could shout out you guys are already watching i'm sure because i'm so late to the game um the addicted sisters love them laura and nancy and i've got to go to a couple of stitching gatherings that they have hosted here in the kansas city area um so I've gotten to meet them and some other Kansas City Stitchers, which is awesome. And they are hosting a retreat in July in Independence, Missouri. It is the Show Me Retreat. And if you want more information, you can go to their floss tube. They have information every video about that, about their retreat. Or you can email them at theaddictedsisters at gmail.com. I think there's some spots left open. Um, and I'm going to that... Um, I don't, I don't think they're full. I think there's a couple more spots open. So if you're interested in coming to the Kansas City area and coming on a stitching retreat, I think it's July 11th through the 14th. Um, so that's exciting. Um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, she's awesome. Stitching Social, um, I love watching them. Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World, oh, she stitches like, she stitches so many great patterns um and she's from kansas city she lives in colorado but she's from kansas city so definitely check her out um mckenna she's great she's she stitches and finishes things all the time um let's see who else uh, there's a ton a ton of people um so anyways Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked my video, please subscribe. Um, I'll try and link my Instagram and email um, in the section below. So give me a like and leave a comment and let me get to know you. And hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Bye.